Hi, it's Richard. And I'm Alex. Welcome to the Siebel Hub Learning Experience. Get ready for Siebel 22 with the most up-to-date modular training course available. Learn more with clear, precise instructor presentations. Team 2 has a mid-level release they want to push to integration test and then incrementally migrate that content to the test database. Learn better with comprehensive exercises and demonstrations. Now the next step to be executed is the business service and we can click simulate next. This executes the business service and we can inspect the output in the workflow process data panel. Learn faster with high quality course materials. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today. Hello and welcome to another update on Siebel CRM updates. On April 19th, Oracle has released the fourth update for Siebel 22. The 22.4 update is packed with features and enhancements in various areas. So, let's dive right in. Siebel Web Tools makes another leap towards 100% parity with its older sibling, Siebel Tools. In 22.4 and later, developers can run object validation from the comfort of their browser. The integration with Oracle Intelligent Advisor, formerly known as Oracle Policy Automation OPA, has been simplified. And as a third official feature, the release notes reveal enhancements in report generation for the Siebel Test Automation Module. Avid bookshelf readers will easily spot two interesting enhancements for the Siebel Inbound REST API, which we'll discuss in a bit. The Email Sending Daemon, ESD, part of the Siebel Email Marketing Module, now supports Transport Layer Security, TLS. And along with an update for Tomcat to version 9.0.58, your Siebel servers will start up faster with the 22.4 update. When Siebel Web Tools was released with IP17 in August 2017, Oracle announced plans to replace the Windows bound Siebel Tools clients once 100% parity is reached. Fast forward five years and Siebel Tools is still around, but slowly and steadily, Siebel Web Tools is gaining. The 22.4 version of Siebel Web Tools introduces the very familiar object validation that we know from Siebel Tools. Developers can validate one or more objects of the same type, or an entire workspace, or invoke a repository wide validation run from the command line. The relationship between Oracle Intelligent Advisor, the successor of Oracle Policy Automation, which has roots in the Haley Business Rules Engine, is a long one and started when Siebel Systems Inc. was still owning the product, before the Oracle Siebel acquisition. Over the years, integration touchpoints were established and products like Siebel Public Sector or Financial Services benefit a lot from the functionality provided by OIA. With the Siebel CRM 22.4 update, the integration with OIA 21C or higher has been redesigned for a better fit into the cloud-based architecture. A repository upgrade is necessary to import all the new and updated artifacts, such as workflow processes and business components, into the repository. This will also insert and update several standard views for public sector and financial services that provide example use cases. Siebel Test Automation is another area with a rich history. Even early versions of Siebel CRM supported the automation of functional and load test, albeit dependent on third-party products. With IP17, Oracle introduced several enhancements to the Test Automation module, including in-application recording and playback of test scripts, as well as batch or lights-out testing via a Jenkins plugin. Both the units and batch test execution produce HTML reports, which provided 
shall we say, basic insights into the test outcome. With 22.4, test administrators can now choose to review test executions using a refurbished HTML report layout. Test results are also stored in a JSON file, allowing for better integration with automated tools. If you run multiple test executions, you can use an Oracle provided Perl script to consolidate all reports into one document. Now let's take a look at the enhancements for the inbound REST API. The REST guide in Siebel Bookshelf informs us about two new query parameters which can be used to optimize read access for GET requests. The first parameter is execution mode and will be familiar to most Siebel professionals. By default, queries in Siebel CRM run in bi-directional mode, allowing for parsing the results set in both directions, forward and backward. In many cases, bi-directional navigation is not required. By setting the parameter to forward only, the result set is returned faster but can only be navigated from the first to the last record. The second parameter is named exclude empty fields in response and when set to a positive value, true, yes, or why, will cause the response body to, you guessed it, exclude empty fields. This has an overall positive effect on the size of the result set, which is a performance benefit. The second enhancement for the inbound REST API is the new ability to define a custom or standard business service method to be invoked before, pre, or after post the actual request in the EAI object manager. This can prove useful if developers need to make preparations before the request or for cleanup jobs after the request. The new feature is implemented as a series of business service user properties which one must add to the EAI REST adapter service. After adding the enable pre-post processing property with a value of true, Developers can define additional user properties to map URL patterns. For example, service slash asterisk to a pair of business service methods, one for pre processing, one for post processing. The new pre and post processing feature supports all inbound REST resources, such as data, service, workspace, and just added in 22.3 workflow. Let's review the mandatory and optional steps for a successful update to Siebel CRM 22.1 or higher. First, it's highly recommended to take a backup of the entire environment and the database that you're intending to update. Then the Modular Deployment Engine MDE, needs to be executed, as has been the case with all releases since the inauguration of the MDE in 21.2. The MDE provides the binary update. There's a wider version gap, you'll also get a topology update to the unified directory structure. This applies to any enterprise server component such as AI, Siebel Server, or Gateway. It's mandatory to run the post-install database update, which can be run automatically as part of the MDE or manually after the MDE is finished copying the binaries. This has to be executed once per database and import schema changes, seed data, and open UI manifest data into the target database. Make sure to verify the report and the log files and rerun in case of errors before you continue. There are also optional steps which might or might not be applicable to your situation. The repository upgrade utility is optional and it can be run only against a development database. It should be run only if you intend to uptake the so-called non-mandatory changes made by Oracle such as the recent CrowdTwist integration. The result is an integration workspace that contains the non-mandatory repository artifacts. Developers can then inspect and test the Oracle manufactured objects and subsequently deliver them into the main branch or another integration branch. The release notes contains configuration constructions which you might have to apply in your development environment if necessary. There are known issues reported in the release notes as well, so make sure you understand and apply the workarounds if necessary. And finally, 
there's a bunch of non-repository administrative changes which you might have to take care of. The complete update process with all required and optional steps in gray and green respectively is depicted on the diagram. Here we can see the update process for development environments where the fast track to a successful update is as follows. Take a backup, run the MDE, run the post-installed database update. If you have no repository upgrades, configuration instructions, or administrative changes to implement, you're done. If you need to execute the non-mandatory repository upgrade or apply configuration instructions, you have to do that in the development environment and test and deliver these changes. If you have any administrative changes on your to-do list, you have to implement them as well before declaring success. The same is true for test or production, also known as RR environments, where the update process is a little shorter. The mandatory steps are the same. Back up your environment, run MDE, run post-install database update. If there's nothing else to do, you're done. Of course, you have to repeat the update process on every Siebel instance. If the DR update included repository changes, you have to use the migration application to deploy the new and updated artifacts from the development environment to the runtime environment. Similar to the DR environment, you might have some administrative changes on your checklist that you need to execute before declaring the update complete. Let's take a look at the path for an upgrade from a version prior to Innovation Pack 17 to the latest and greatest release. If your current Siebel CRM version is below IP17, you find yourself in the lower portion of the diagram. This means that you have to conduct an upgrade project to get to Siebel 22.1 or higher. The duration of a Siebel CRM upgrade project is measured in person months, sometimes person years. The project complexity and duration are tightly coupled to the number of customizations you have applied over the years and also to the age of your Siebel application. In a nutshell, the more time and money was spent on customizing Siebel, the more time and money will have to be spent on the upgrade. If you come from a very old Siebel release, such as Siebel 7.5, you have to execute a two-step upgrade. One-step upgrades are supported from 7.8 up to 8.2. Upgrades from these ancient releases also require a migration from the ActiveX-driven high interactivity client to Siebel OpenUI. If you're on a younger version, such as Innovation Pack 13 to 16, you're on the incremental repository merge IRM track, which is still a lengthy process but much more streamlined. You might not even have to migrate to OpenUI as you're already using it. Upgrade projects are conducted using the latest Siebel CRM update available at the time you start the project. The upgrade path is direct from any version prior to IP17 to 22.1 and higher. If you already ran a successful Siebel upgrade to IP17 or higher, you might be on any version between IP17, Siebel 18, 19, 20, or 21. To get from there to the latest update, you execute the aforementioned update process. The real benefit of the continuous release model is evident here, as the update process will at most take a few person days.